Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to find the integer value of x of which the 13th power is this number. So let us get started. First, let us count the number of digits in this number. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and 19. So it's a 19 digit number. So that means this number lies between 10 raised to 13 and 10 raised to 26. Okay. That means this number x lies between 10 and 100. That means x is a two digit number. So let us find the value of x. But before that, let us learn about the cyclicity of powers of any number. So let us learn about the cyclicity. Consider any number which unit place 1. 1 times 1 will be 1. Again times 1 will be 1. So 1 remains 1. So any number which unit place 1 will have its power with cyclicity as equal to 1. Consider any number with unit place 2. So 2 times 2 will be 4, 4 times 2 will be 8, 8 times 2 will be 16, that means the unit place will be 6, and 6 times 2 will be 12, that means the unit place will be 2. So the pattern follows as 2, 4, 8, 6, then 2, 4, 8, 6, and so. That means any number with unit place 2 will have its power with cyclicity equal to 4. Okay, now consider any number with unit place 3. So 3 times 3 will be 9, 9 times 3 will be 27, so unit place is 7, 7 times 3 will be 21, so unit place is 1, and 1 times 3 will be 3. So the pattern follows as 3, 9, 7, 1, again 3, 9, 7, 1, and so. so the powers of any number with unit place 3 will have cyclicity of equal to 4. Okay. Now consider number 4 or any number with unit place 4. So 4 times 4 will be 16. So unit place is 6. 6 times 4 will be 24. So unit place will be 4. So the pattern follows like 4, 6, 4, 6. 4, 6, and so on. So any number with unit place 4 will have its power with cyclicity equal to 2. Okay. Now consider number 5 or any number with unit place 5. So 5 times 5 will be 25. So it has unit place 5. So unit place will remain 5. So any number with unit place 5 will have its power with cyclicity equal to 1. Okay, same with 6. 6 times 6 is 36, so unit place will remain 6. So any number with unit place 6 will have also the cyclicity of 1. Okay, now consider number 7 or any number with unit place 7. So 7 times 7 will be 49, unit place will be 9. 9 times 7 will be 63, so unit place will be 3. 3 times 7 will be 21, so unit place will be 1, and 1 times 7 will be 7. So the pattern follows like 7, 9, 3, 1, again 7, 9, 3, 1, and so on. So any number with unit place 7 will have its power with cyclicity equal to 4. Okay, now consider number 8. 8 times 8. Is 64 so unit place is 4 4 times 8 will be 32 2 times 8 will be 16 so unit place 6 6 times 8 will be 48 so again unit place is 8 so the pattern follows like 8 4 2 6 again 8 4 2 6 and so on so 
Any number with unit place 8 will have its power with cyclicity equal to 4. Okay. Now consider the number 9 or any number with unit place 9. So 9 times 9 will be 1. I mean 81. So unit place will be 1. So 1 times 9 will be 9. So the pattern follows like 9, 1, 9, 1, 9, 1 and so on. So any number with unit place 9 will have its power with cyclicity equal to 2. Okay. So we can see that cyclicity doesn't exceed the number 4. So we can conclude that any number will have cyclicity of 4. So coming back to our number. The number is the 13th power of the number. So it is just next to the 12 which is the multiple of 4. Okay. So according to the cyclicity the unit place of x should be 7 because the power has unit place 7. Okay. So we can say that unit place of x is 7. Now let us find the tens place of x. For that let us count the 13 digits from right to left. So 3, 6, 9, 12 and 13. So consider the number 405255. Okay. So I'll note down the number. It is 405255. And now let us find whether this number lies between 13th power of 2 and 13th power of 3 or not. Okay. So let us first find the 13th power of 2. So 2 times 2 times 2 as I know it will be 8. 8 times 2 will be 16. 16 times 16 will be 256. So 8th power of 2 will be 256. 256 times 4 will be 1024. So 10th power of 2 is 1024. So multiply this with it directly to get the 13th power of 2. So this will be 1892. So 13th power of 2 is 8192. That means it is less than the number. The number which is 405225. Okay. Now let us find whether 405225 is less than the 13th power of 3 or not. Okay. So as we know, 4 times if you multiply 3 to itself, it will be 81. 81 times 81, if I multiply, it will be equal to 1 and 16. So 6. 164 plus 164. So 6561. And now multiply 6561 with 81 to get the 12th power of 3. So 16516 0 then 8 48. So 8 4 carry 40 plus 4 44 to so 4 carry and 52. So this will be 1 4 again 4. Then 1 carry 1, then 3 and 5. So 12th power of 3 is 531441. And multiply this with 3 to get the 13th power of 3. So it will be equal to 3, then 2, 3, then 1, 1 plus 3, 4, then 9 and 50. So the 13th power of 3 is 1594323. Three which is greater than 405255. So, this should be 3. So, the number 405255 lies between the 13th power of 2 and the 13th power of 3. That means the tens place of x is 2. That means the number x is equal to 27. And we found the number. So this was all for this video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give us a like 
and get subscribed to my channel for more such videos and have a nice day. Bye.